Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Its name is My Web. And guys, in this video, I am going to download Jam Server and other text editor for working on my web project. Okay, guys. So let's get started. So first of all, I am going to the my web browser. I am open the Chrome browser, and in the URL box, I am tapping ApacheFriends.org. Okay, and when you scroll down, here is three options. You got it. Okay, Jam for Windows, Jam for Linux, and Jam for Mac OS. So I am using Windows 10. So I am clicking on the Jam for Windows. Okay, when I click on this. He asked me a location for save that, so I'm choosing the desktop and save it. Okay, and show all. And now you can, as you can see, our Jam server is starting started to download. Okay, so uh, now I'm on the another tab and type brackets dot io. Okay. And I'm also click on this download brackets 1.11. Okay, so I think it's taking time. Okay, now and he also asked me a location, so I'm click on uh, seven on this desktop. Okay, so I post that because my another. A jam server is in downloading mode now. Uh, I think it's taking too much time for download it, so you need to wait for downloading that. Okay, so our down our download is done, and now I'm click on the resume for download the brackets text editor. Okay, and I'm resuming it, but I don't need to download it because I have already bracket text editor. So basically, I'm going to the bro, uh, desktop, and here, as you can see, here is my Jam local server installer installer file. So I'm click on double click on that. Okay. And he asked me a confirmation box. Yes. And after that. It's a Vietnamese production. Okay, he gave me a warning because I already use a uh, Jam server, but I click on the OK. Next, next, and now he asked me for a uh, select selection folder, selection of folder. Okay, and I'm always recommend never install your Jam server in the local disk D. Sorry, C, because when I open this. Uh, Folder file file explorer, and you see here is local disk C, and I think you need to always uh, upgrade or update your file your folder, and either way, anytime your Windows corrupt, then what you do? So I recommend to install your uh, Jam folder to the local disk D or another another drive of that. Okay, so I cancel this because I I already installed that. In my local disk E, as you can see, here is my Jam folder. Okay, and when I open that, yeah, here is my Jam control panel option. Okay, so here is my Jam control panel box window, and I'm clicking on this Start button of Apache and MySQL. Okay, and when you click on this Explorer option. Then he give you a window. It's a local disk E. Okay, it's a local disk E, and it's a jam. And here is your HD docs folder. Okay. Now, uh, after that, I open my text editor brackets. You can use your brackets, or some text, or Notepad plus plus, or Visual Studio Code as you want. I'm using all of that. Okay. So I'm clicking on this brackets for opening. 
and yeah okay now i'm click on the file menu and go to the open folder okay and now i'm going to the lo local disk e and here is our jam folder so i enter it in and htdocs okay now in the root folder i create a new folder which name is ecom okay sorry uh rename it ecom okay now here your ecom folder is selected and created also and click on the select folder okay sorry for that now as you can see uh, here, here is our ecom folder is created when again i go to the browser for accessing this folder so i close it close it close it uh, yeah i close it now in the url box i type local host slash your folder name folder name is ecom okay so as you can see as our version is a uh, Apache 2.4.2.3 and PHP version 5.6.4. Uh, it's changed into the 7.6. Uh, whatever I don't need it. Okay. Now I'm going to text editor and create. Sorry, I, I'm going to create a new file. So I'm click on the right click and click on the new file and rename this into the index.php. Okay. And now I write something. Uh, HTML basic structure HTML head and the title the title name is e-commerce okay and after that body and hello world and type this because I'm testing that okay and press the control S button or save it and again i'm going to the browser and refresh it okay so as you can see our total title name and h1 heading is source it's it's mean that our jam server is successfully working on so i hope you learn how to download and install the jam server and how to create our own folder project in your ht docs folder okay so here is your ht docs folder and here is your e-commerce where is that e com yeah ecom and here is the index.php file so in the next video i talk i'm talking about folder structure of that our project so make sure you already installed the your jam server and test editor and also click on this apache and mysql start button okay guys so take care stay with me happy coding for make a coding world